it appears that you've managed to win over part of the crowd. Some of your testimony doesn't add up. You can be rest assured that I, so Serena, the god of justice, will get to the bottom of this matter. No detail shall escape me. Yes, that sounds perfect. A god must be firm. A god must not allow any detail to slip. Oh, she says that her own doubts. <clears throat> My dear citizens, just she as like the practicing. will of a god remains opaque to the understanding of mere mortals, so too is truth unmoved by even the strongest of wills. I will now speak to the defendant. If you honor the values of truth, justice, and divinity, then you are compelled to provide an accurate account of your actions. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's not bad. Now what's next? <sighs> it's so hard to predict how people are going to react. What should I say during the trial tomorrow? Lady Serena, what are you doing? Oh, uh, Nervulet! <laughs> As the god of justice, it is only expected that I should remain I informed see of see more every of a, like, a more vulnerable and side. the necessary preparations. Uh, is there something that you need in? If you wish to seek an audience with me, then please make an appointment with Sir Intendant Chevalmeron in advance. I think it's time for the trailer. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique de Nalise Cardinal, the Hydro Archive... Getting so serious, why is she crying? The death sentence. Wait, death? You and I both know that there may be issues with the Primordial Sea. Everyone on the street who happened to be close to the water didn't have a chance to escape. As the water levels rose, they suddenly disappeared. Shouldn't gods be all Yeah, it's going hard right now. What's done is done. Just trust me. Oh, look at the idol. Your Archon. Arena gameplay time. Whether you can truly convince yourself to or not. Oh, this that is such a cool theme. Oh, she's riding in the little bubble. The show begins! This is like Dory's attack animations, but better. Shower me with praise! Oh, they should like summon these little creatures. The and there's Charlotte. Oh, this looks like the healers. Of course, because she's, like, she's a photographer. I know you're not a local, but I'd avoid getting too close to any water that looks strange all the same. Oh, can we save Navia? There's something ominous about it. Well, the water, I mean. The prophecy. Yes. What has been prophesized will be fulfilled. I, Marina! Wait, what is that? Will use this trial to show the world the truth! What is that monster? Justice. This judgment is With fair, Lady Just. What is the meaning you would call this? You have this never been as justice. superficial as you have presented yourself Your to be. No God. more excuses. And why should we acknowledge it? So so long. Why did you deceive us? A plot and return. Wait just a moment. This isn't right. The trial of the Hydro Archon. Soon to remember the floor right. will now this begin. Trial is it's really going to be I on trial. I understand the true purpose behind this position. You oh my god, it's this giant whale from the child's dream. Oh, child's back. Everyone. Oh, what should I do? The prophecy. Oh my god, this is like so high. Should now be in full swing. Who is that? Who is that character? I suppose this would also be the justice that belongs to you. All will eventually end in a magnificent and dramatic trial. Farewell. Her face flooding. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years. Who on earth was that, though? And if it's time for the code. Right. The code is 
VA97 AJNF2 oh, uh, F2 or UV Okay, that's redeemed. Gonna paste that in the chat as as well. And as well as on the Discord. But yeah, that trailer was so high. It's like so much so many questions. Also, I like, muted the ads for a bit whilst the trailer was running. Hey, travelers! Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.2 special program! Woo! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine, and I'm joined today by two guests to bring you the latest news for the upcoming version. Okay, why don't you introduce yourselves? All right, yeah, sounds good. I'll start. Hey everyone, I'm Amber Lee Connors, the voice of Farina. Well, I expect this to finish at oh, probably like 12 I'm super excited to be on this special program today. Uh, travelers already met the Hydro Archon at the start of their journey in Fontaine. And as the story continues, how will this special god avert the crisis foretold in the prophecy? <laughs> um, yeah, I hope everyone's excited to see what happens next. I mean, I sure am. Uh, I, uh, uh, I'm at the edge of my seat. My name is Ray Chase, and I'm the voice of Nevelet, the Dragon Sovereign of Water and Udex of Fontaine. Yeah, now he's calling himself as the Dragon Nivellet Sovereign. A very trustworthy partner, and I hope you look forward to seeing more of him in version 4.2. Yes, for sure. Totally. Yep. Okay, so next, let's dive into the major content that we have coming in version 4.2. <laughs> In the intro, Farina said we need to make an appointment with Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. So, you know, she's really I did not get that name. Fontaine's Archon, and she's a pretty big celebrity at the Opera House. So, the special program team gave me an itinerary to follow, and it appears to show all of Farina's recent plans. Farina's recent plans? Let me guess. She's going to be going to trial, and then another trial, and then another. <laughs> Actually, that sounds about right. <laughs> okay, the itinerary is it seems me or does pretty um, so Karina's trial is going to sound like, like she's been impeached? Oh, looks like Ray called it. <laughs> wow. Mm. Yeah. There is nothing more important to Farina than attending trials at the Opera House. But this trial is a little different yeah, from this the is usual. Act 5 of the Archon Ooh. Quest. Interesting. I know, I know. I'm, I keep looking at the water rushing in. I'm like, what's happening? Yes, yeah, so it looks like there's some spotlights and like, is like a, a curtain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think like three starts to feel like the pressures like, have been, you know, a god. Because you know, she's things, like, you know, so in the beginning, she's, she's like, God, she's like practicing her speech. She's always keeping an eye on stuff. And <laughs> she's like worried that people, so people are going to like hate her. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> okay, in version 4.2, travelers will get to experience Act 5 of the Fontaine Archon Quest, Masquerade of the Guilty. We'll team up with Fontanian friends to delve deeper into the hurricane of events and face the impending destruction foretold by the prophecy. I still like one act though, gradually but I think this one's going to be like super long. Crisis and encounter an evil that has been lurking in the swirling depths. I know. I know. Ooh, swirling depths. <laughs> Very spoopy. Um, spoopy. Right. So, you know, the prophecy in Fontaine is on the brink of coming true. And this is possibly the greatest crisis we faced in our journey through Tavat. Definitely. In version 4.1, we learned about this precarious situation involving the rising primordial seawater. Nevelet barely arrived in time to hold back the seawater from engulfing the fortress of Meripede, but still, the water has reached Poisson. Luckily, the crisis was averted by Navia's leadership of the Spina de Rosula. Though, we probably can't dismiss the assistance provided by the Nave either. Whatever her well, end no, may be, it seems like do. she sincerely wants to save Fontaine from the prophecy. But is she like an ally so or an enemy? Say. <laughs> Travelers will have to go and play through the version themselves to discover the clues, adventures, and stories to come. Yes, exactly. So be sure to play through, uncover hidden truths, and witness this epic chapter of Fontaine's history for yourself when Act 5 of the Archon Quest becomes available. 
Sounds good. That was yep. right? <laughs> hey, question. Mm. Have mm. we forgotten a pretty important character who's been missing from the Fortress of Meripede? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you mean child. Yeah. 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 Where's uh, child? We searched all over the fortress for him. <laughs> Yep. Oh, it's still MIA. I, I guess we'll just have to live with the suspense for a little longer. <laughs> Not ideal, but it's mm, fine. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, it is what it is. But we saw Child. He's gonna come back in a big boss in a big boss fight. Our conquest. So it probably won't be long until we see him again. Okay, okay. good. <laughs> but we really need to talk about Farina. What? She's confronted Why? with a. <laughs> <laughs> because she's confronted with a crisis that's tough for even one of the great elemental dragons. Hmm. Of course, Fontaine will have the traveler's help, but what choices will our Hydro Archon make in the face of the crisis? Uh, uh, oh, heads oh, well, up. I'm gonna just let me add in like to see a minute. Which All will be revealed at the fated time. <laughs> but knowing Farina, perhaps she'll have made some preparations. Mm. Huh. Once again, disappointed. Oh, but... yeah. no. <laughs> no way. Come on, guys. Have some faith. <laughs> okay, to bolster everyone's confidence in Farina, let's learn a little more about this one-of-a-kind Archon. Okay, Farina, gameplay time. <laughs> Why are you just standing there with your mouth gaping? <sighs> you must be stunned and at a loss for words. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. It is I, after all, Fontaine's most beloved star, Farina. I'm on a very tight schedule, so you're lucky to even get an appointment with me. Oh my gosh, I love her mm. outfit. Yes. Oh, and, and her eyes, like each of them are different. She's got these little eyelashes and yes. her hat. <laughs> oh, you know, it's amazing. you'd expect for a Hydro Archon that she'd have the best drip. Oh, oh right. <laughs> okay, you know what? It seems as if she's always dressed like she's about to attend a performance. You know what I mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that's Fontaine's biggest celebrity for you. And speaking of drip, let's take a look at her combat abilities. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <sighs> Being too popular can be such a hassle. Who knew the people would adore me so much? That's very graceful. And kind of uh, cocky as well. That little, that little <laughs> tip of the hat. Strike a pose! Oh, the little creature's like so cute. Let the world come on! Oh, those are like the little you know, sea creatures that you <laughs> see underwater. Whoa, that is wow. so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I like the way she kind of like bows. Very dramatic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very much. It's like yeah, all the the start. part of a performance. Yes. Totally. Also, look at her elemental burst. Her presence really fills the stage. Everyone mm. else is just an extra. Mm -hmm. Wait, so the creatures that Farina summons, they look a lot like the Fontamer aberrants that we've encountered before. There's a seahorse, a crab, an octopus. And they are all so cute. Yep. Oh, I love them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Me too. Oh my gosh. No, the I octopus. Do the seahorse power? What a distinguished little gentleman. Um, a correction uh, here, Sarah. They're a oh. bit different from Fontamer aberrants. Uh, okay. I would know. Uh, to my <laughs> knowledge, these creatures are Farina's, quote, honored guests. Um, oh. They even help manage her daily affairs. Yes. They're basically like her familiars. <laughs> exactly. So, Farina often invites guests to her tea party, which is known as the Salon Solitaire. And those creatures are actually special guests of the Salon Solitaire. Aww. Mm -hmm. And she even gave each member a name. Oh, they have names. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so, you've got the maid, Mademoiselle Crabaletta. <laughs> Mademoiselle Crabaletta. <laughs> They're the best. The crab. The one that's a crab, I assume. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. And then you've got the housekeeper, Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. Ah, oh, that, that is a long name. And the conferencier, Gentilhomme Usher. Oh. And that last one is a stickler for propriety. Oh, okay. They are such fancy so names. So said to make an appointment with Sir Intendant Cheval Moran, this oh, is who so she was cute. referring to? Yes. <laughs> she wasn't oh, so cute, though. Wow. I didn't 
Ew, it was so cute! Exactly! It's so adorable. Few few bubbles in her idol animation. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Okay, I'm sure everyone is just itching to know more about the skills shown in that clip. So, Amber, why don't you take it away? Tell us everything. Yes, you got it. Yay! So, Farina is a Hydro Sword user. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, oh, she, she can actually do both Osea and Numa. Arca alignment in combat. When in this state, her elemental skill invites the three members of the Salon Solitaire, Mademoiselle Crabaletta. Okay, uh, uh, skill is to, is to summon. And Gentilhomme Usher to the stage. I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> um, and, you know, these um, Salon members will attack nearby opponents, prioritizing the target of the active character. Ooh. Their damage increases the more characters there are in the party over a certain HP amount. Okay, I was listening to all that, but at the very <laughs> top, you said that she usually <laughs> defaults to an Usia Arca alignment. So she has more than one alignment? Yes, exactly. Farina's charged attack not only deals physical oh, damage, so but the way you can change your alignment is uh, by charge attack. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Mm -hmm. Based on what we just saw, it so seems like, like so useful alignment has an effect very, on like, other useful skills in, as well. Uh, yes, the current sure abyss. does. Farina's elemental skill changes depending on whether she is aligned with Usia or Numa. Oh, it also changes her skill as it's well. Super cool. uh, after Farina uses her charged attack to switch to a Numa Arca alignment, her elemental skill summons the Singer of Many Waters to provide healing to nearby party members. Oh, oh nice. she's a healer. The summons created by Farina's elemental skill will remain on the field for a period of time even after Farina is switched out. So Farina's there's only the little ones that go away to if she switches opponents. out. And when the party member's HP increases or decreases, Farina will accumulate fanfare points. <laughs> 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 That's my trumpet. <laughs> Amazing. Um, <laughs> so um, Farina increases the damage and the incoming so sort of like hybrid. nearby party members based on the amount of fanfare she has. Wow, it seems like this fighting style really suits Farina's character. It's very showy and unpredictable. Totally! I, I can already bubbles. see the fluctuations in my team's HP bar. <laughs> that healing skill might come in handy. Yeah, for real. And um, due so to her like, knowledge of, of ways. deep water aberrants, Farina's passive talent can decrease the cooldown on abilities gained from the xenochromatic Fontamer aberrant. Get her one side wow, you can say that again. Based. Yeah. And that'll make it even easier to uncover the secrets lurking in the depths. Oh, it's the secrets <laughs> lurking in the depths. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot. Um, whenever one of Farina's summons is on the field, Farina gains the ability to walk on water. Oh my gosh, wow. that is so He's literally cool. planning on Kakomi right now. Hey, um, I actually saw that Farina's outfit changes whenever she switches between Arca lines. Oh yeah. Oh, that's something yeah. you can tell when Good what eye. thing. You're correct. You. It does change. When what I love it she but, has. You know, such is the time of a celebrity, I suppose. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, so if you want to learn more about Yeah, maybe we have a story quest as well. Be sure to accompany her on her story quest, the Animula Kuraji chapter. Ah, amazing. Mm. Okay, so next up, we have another old friend to introduce. All right, Charlotte She's Charlotte now time. able to join the traveler's party with her trusty companion, Monsieur Verite. That's right. It's Charlotte. Yay! Oh, adorable. <laughs> Ooh, so cute. We've known Charlotte for a while now. The traveler met her during the Summoner Summit event, which took them on an adventure all over to that. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. Charlotte's hard-hitting spirit and determination to uncover the truth really leave an impression, don't they? Yeah. That's right. During our journey in Fontaine, didn't she treat the traveler to a magnificent meal in order to get a scoop about Ridesley? Ooh. Though she didn't end up getting the interview that she wanted in the end, huh? Mm. But I don't think that will deter her. She'll always be in search of the truth. The world is her treasure chest, and only her camera can determine its contents and the truths they contain. Ooh. Speaking of her camera, Monsieur Verite just so happens to be her greatest assistant and companion. They're friends. Charlotte's talent for oh, photography is camera. It's like a little cute bow tie and a hat. No matter the subject or setting, her photos somehow always capture an unparalleled sense of artistry. The peerless Monsieur Verite turns her photos into eye-catching mementos. In fact, many Fontanians even cut the prints out of the newspaper and keep them as clippings. Oh. 
That's so cool. And Mr. Verte is so cute, even as his own little hat and I like he such a name. <laughs> I know. Charlotte actually commissioned both of those items from Chiori. She even commissioned Monsieur Verite's accessories in several different styles to match different interview settings. Isn't that cute? Wow, <laughs> that is pretty thoughtful. I suppose that just shows how much Charlotte cherishes her own Monsieur Verite. Yes, it really does. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at Charlotte's character showcase, shall we? Ooh, let's yes. Do it. If you keep your eyes peeled and your mind engaged, you'll find there's always a new story nearby just waiting to be discovered. Say cheese! I think she's that good. Yeah, she's definitely a support character. Breaking news! Oh, it's something like that. Bunch of those cameras. Wow. Oh, amazing. <laughs> yeah, she okay. is really like moving around. Yes! Honestly, <laughs> it's just what you'd expect of a reporter for the Steambird. Even her combat skills involve taking photos. Isn't that cool? Uh, yeah, and then like, like take a, what as well. a lively character. Her combat moves, like I was saying, she's moving around. They're super yeah. dynamic. <laughs> it yeah. seems like she's he is always on the move. <laughs> Who's on the march? Exactly. <laughs> Charlotte is an expert at applying the skills and talents that she's developed as a reporter to other areas of her life, and that includes combat. Oh, With basically, that's pretty often in Mr. Verite, she captures cryo damage from all angles, skill. unleashing attacks while discovering and exposing their weaknesses. Yeah. Honestly, I would expect nothing less. She could like combine her with someone like Nivellet. Who knew cameras could do that though? Do like the, <laughs> I didn't know you could use them. Apply like, that do like okay, constant you know, freeze. Okay, here's some cool stuff. Charlotte's elemental skill applies snappy silhouette to opponents caught within the viewfinder of her camera. During this effect, oh, the, the range is actually quite big. Intermittently take damage. Wow. Holding Charlotte's elemental skill strengthens these effects and applies focused impression to opponents instead. Mm -hmm. Now her elemental burst creates a news flash field that continuously restores HP to party members within its range. Oh, she's a healer as well. Verite? He's also going to join in and intermittently attack opponents during the duration of the ability. That's actually quite a useful As burst. It heals and also Charlotte does like crowd damage. Adapting her methods to match the needs of her target. When paired with Fontaine characters, Charlotte receives a healing bonus. When paired with non-Fontaine oh, characters, with Fontaine she receives a healing bonus. So she now is definitely a good support for Nivellet. There is more. <laughs> During the 4.2 special event, travelers can complete a quest to receive a special gadget called the Zoom Lens. The Zoom special Lens. Travelers can complete a quest to receive a special gadget called the Zoom Lens. Ooh. When Charlotte uh, activates wait. the zoom lens, it will trigger her passive talent called know, first person. You don't get any zoom in our camera. Oh gosh, when you amazing. hold her elemental skill, <laughs> the gadget will cause you to enter photo mode instead. That is so cool. Yeah. Yep. That is super rad. And you know, I have a feeling. Oh, she's actually some quite useful for our taking cool photos. Pictures are gonna come out of that. Oh yeah. We are gonna provide <laughs> more information about the zoom lens and how to use it during the event over. It's only when you have the gadget equip, otherwise, you no. know. It'll be Serena quite, it'll be quite fake. Oh, banner. Will both be featured in version 4.2 oh, event. Oh, we're both getting three man Charlie in the same banner. In the first half of version 4.2. And we get to get by Zoom rerun. Which is showcasing Farina and Bayou. Also, that's quite fast for by Zoom rerun. This time, Charlotte will also receive a huge drop rate boost. Huge boost. <laughs> Huge boost. A new five-star sword, Splendor of Tranquil yep, this Water, is, uh, weapon. will be featured in the weapon event banner. And Huge sword. <laughs> <laughs> I love and Ray's voice. In the second half of version 4.2. Oh, okay, we'll Sino rerun and Ayato rerun. Sino and Ayato. I already have both, okay, so let's take a look at what basically I'm, I'm going to save up a lot. From Farina's itinerary. Hmm, it looks like she's investigating something. Ooh. Oh, there's even a report attached. Tell us what it says. Okay, I will. It says, <laughs> strange rumblings have been heard yeah, in the, the depths narwhal. of Fontaine's This is the new boss. Uh, the dun, boss from, dun, where you're from. It's not oh, the narwhal, it's the narwhal from it's Charles Dream. Already? Oh, look wow. at that. Oh. Well, well, oh, this boss fight's well. gonna look so epic. It looks like it's in a sea of pink and blue. No, it's not while swimming in the ocean, causing oh, a commotion. I remember this well. I recognize this well. Wait, yeah, yeah. Isn't this the whale that the traveler saw in Child's Vision at the end mm -hmm. of the version 4.1 Archon Quest? Yep, <gasps> it's the same one. After ravaging its way through the primordial sea, this otherworldly creature has at long last broken the seal and descended upon Fontaine. 
Ooh, oh it's it's a real big, big. It uh, it it's feels like it tail. might even burst right through the screen. No, I hope not. <laughs> uh, I get this feeling uh, that this isn't the type of opponent that we can just brute force our way through, you know? Mm -mm. Exactly. In the first phase, it will use yep. its gigantic size Different to phases. target the traveler with massive AoE attacks from all directions. So you know it's a like, uh, chance domain. Dodging is definitely your friend with this one. Oh boy. Um, okay, okay, okay. We've got like a rage so meter. Also, seems to be sort of a progress bar next to the boss's HP mm, bar. Yeah. What's that for? Okay, since we can't outfight it, we'll have to outsmart it instead. The creature just freed itself from captivity and is brimming with anger. So, if you can find a way to capitalize on that anger, perhaps you definitely also need to find use uh, Fonte characters to speak. Oh. Okay, wait, this. Is, is somebody being eaten? Is uh, it? Of course you get eaten by the whale. Survive something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I guess here it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is an entirely different space, it looks like. And there's a new enemy here? With oh, these are like uh, um, mm -hmm. the Shadow Husk Knights. Ooh, these summoned creatures also look vaguely familiar to me. I wonder what the deal is with all of this. Perhaps defeating this mysterious enemy within this space will be the key to defeating the whale? Travelers will need to experiment for themselves. Ooh, yeah. All truths will be revealed in version 4.2. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Oh, man, this boss looks really, really tough. Um, what happens if we, for some reason, can't defeat it? Ooh. Okay, this update actually helps with that problem. Starting from 4.2, an option will appear on the challenge failed screen to lower the difficulty of the boss. Actually, why would you want to lower the difficulty though? To beat them during a main quest. You, you will get like the all the drops. This provides a smoother gaming experience for travelers to enjoy. Oh, I love that. Now we don't need to worry about getting stuck while trying to advance the main story. Totally. Oh, is it, is it only for the main story? <laughs> hey, um, that was a lot of information, wasn't it? Can we take a short little break while we have oh, a look at the second so gonna... code, maybe? Yeah! Ooh, yeah! Let's do it! Q, E, U, A. I don't know how long this break's gonna be for. <laughs> Hello, travelers, welcome back to the version 4.2 special program. Hello. Hello, hello. Yay. So we've introduced new characters, new plot lines, and a new boss. But I hope you're still eager for new content, travelers, because there's still more to come. Let's take a look at what other information we can learn from Farina's itinerary. Okay, aside from investigating crises, it seems like our Hydro Archon oh, also goes on occasional excursions throughout Fontaine. <laughs> Who knew she did all this work behind the scenes? Oh, yeah, mm, I see new areas. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, maybe she's just using it as an excuse to scout out a place for one of her tea parties. Oh. Farina and excuses. <laughs> Typical. <clears throat> hey, it seems like the places Farina has chosen to visit this time feature some peculiar landscapes. From this oh, tower. Yeah. It looks like Farina is in Erinia's forest on the east side of Fontaine. Mm. And that's right behind the opera house. What a cool place. Mm -hmm. Although, looks... it does kind of look like it could be hiding some secrets. Yeah, it's kind of spooky as well. It wouldn't be a video game if there weren't secrets. Oh, Things yeah. Things <laughs> are definitely not what they seem here. For example, strange things have been happening with the water veins around Loch Erinia. As you can see, a strong windstorm has gathered around the vortex bubble. rising from the middle of the lake. It's almost like it's preventing certain things from getting closer and forcibly pushing other things away. Hmm. And take a look at this, the foggy forest path. 
That fog is really thick. Yeah. That's why they call it the foggy forest path. And what about <laughs> this area? The weeping willow of the lake. Ooh, it looks look all the roots, though. good and spooky. And the water doesn't look quite <laughs> right. Mm -mm. Like it's cloudy or something. Do you see that? Yeah. Exactly. It seems like Marina also realized something was off. It looks like she headed underwater to investigate. And what did she find? A number of contaminated bacterial mats. Uh-oh. Oh, Speaking of, there are these. always new things to discover beneath Fontaine's waters. In this update, we'll encounter a new type of Fontamer aberrant, the xenochromatic ball octopus. Ooh. Travelers can borrow its abilities to cleanse away the contamination clots and contamination okay, cores from, from the bacterial mats. Skills. Pretty cool. In addition, with the help like, of a special Travelers will be able to use this creature's abilities on the surface as oh, well. Oh, you can use this on the surface they as well. Maybe the key to solving certain puzzles or perhaps even powering certain objects. But we'll leave that for you to discover. Ooh. To learn more about the story behind the new Erinius Forest region, be sure to check out the version 4.2 world quest called oh, Another World Wild Quest. Fairy of I haven't even started the, uh, the, the fortress one yet. Are <gasps> what? Melusines? Really? Melusines. Oh, then it would certainly be a world quest that you won't want to skip. <laughs> to the south of Erinius Forest, you'll find the Mort region. There, a singular tower stands tall above an island in the middle of the sea. Perhaps it's also guarding some unspeakable secrets. Ooh. Actually, it looks like that's the very next stop on Farina's itinerary, so let's go check it out. Okay, I bet a bunch of travelers noticed this tower since they've arrived in Fontaine. I'm so excited that we finally get to check it out. Yes, same. Uh, yeah, in version 4.2, the sealed ruin tower is the focus of a quest series called Search in the Algae oh, We got another world quest series. I know. <laughs> and after unlocking four seals along its perimeter, the tower and its oh, we have long to, like, buried do the puzzles first. Unveiled to us. Oh, amazing! Okay, it would feel great to finally demystify all the secrets churning under the seemingly calm waters. Yes, I want answers. Um, I also <laughs> We all want answers. Um, I also heard this quest has something to do with the primordial sea. Hmm. It seems like there's a very important and very ancient story oh. behind it all. That is like very right. More. New stories are always <laughs> unfolding in Fontaine, whether above water or below. And this is not limited to the two new regions in this update. The prophesied earthquake woke up new oh, life boss. forms in other places. Hi, George Holba. Look at his giant hands. Oh, I think this is going to be uh, Farina's uh, boss section monster. Cave, new life form is waking up. It has greater and more diverse powers of transformation while in combat. So don't let your guard down, travelers. Yes. Mm -mm. And some places still seem to. Of course, we're gonna fight it in the in the abyss. Past, no matter how long they've been abandoned. Oh, actually, it looks like the, so that the super evolved update, form of the uh, also look the phantasms. To the climax of the Narcissan Croix adventure quest line that was introduced over the last two versions, and there might even be an unexpected surprise waiting at the end. What? Ooh, surprise! A surprise! <laughs> okay, I think I might need to do I this uh, to see what it is. quest <laughs> soon. All right, there's a lot to discover in the new areas of the map, but Farina's itinerary doesn't stop there. Oh wait, it looks like she's arranged to spend some time with her subjects. Aww. Hmm, Farina is pretty personable. Who's to say? She might even make an appearance at the events taking place in Fontaine. Speaking of, let's move on to the event portion. Woo -woo. All right. The Fontaine Fishing Association has recently posted oh, a commission to investigate this, the rumors uh, of water ants event. near Erinius Island. Which is good because I've not even gotten a from it yet. Another investigation. I know. Uh, oh, and Fremine seems to be involved. That little clockwork penguin next to him must be one of his other companions. But it doesn't look like Pear. Actually, its name is Thelxie. The name comes from a Fontanian fairy tale that describes a terrifying creature that lives underwater. Adults would use the story to keep children away from the shore. As the story goes, children who play by the water are food for Thelxi to devour. Ooh, Jeepers. yeah, <laughs> that's adorable. Real. Well, children must be pretty afraid of that creature. I know, right? It does seem a little unusual for Fremenay to give this little penguin a name like that. There must be um, some other reason. Wait. Oh, hey, does this event also have something to do with this clockwork penguin? Mm. Absolutely. In this event, we'll be helping Fremenay make some improvements to this little clockwork penguin. 
There will be a total of three main stages to the event. As for the first stage, we'll repair the penguin by fixing its circuits and reconnecting the motherboard. In return, the little oh. guy will help us out Good on our nice journey. Little puzzle oh, mini game. I, love really cool. I, love, I love this these sites. As our journey puzzles. progresses, we'll collect colorful like shells, pipe, corals, um, and other items what it's called. used to outfit our little friend with pipe weapons and equipment. Which brings us to the second stage of the event, using an echoing conch to search underwater and find the items that we need for the penguin. Hmm. And, uh, you know, what, what happens another, if like, we run into certain speed bumps quests. on our adventure? You know, like monsters, puzzles, and all that jazz. <laughs> well, it seems like the perfect opportunity for a little penguin buddy to shine. Aww. Exactly. <laughs> In the third stage of the event, the Clockwork Penguin will help us defeat monsters lurking around event. a specific domain and obtain any treasures that they may be guarding. Oh, of we get trial course, the Clockwork on here as well. Penguin will provide different buffs in each battle to help travelers oh, emerge victorious. So cute, wow. It's going to no, look like the story behind these battles. being lots and a sword, and not lots and a shield. Themselves. Let's see. After helping the Penguin, the next item on the itinerary is... Oh, the cute little fungi are back! Aww. Cool! Hania, a friend we met in Sumeru, has arrived in Fontaine. Hey, our fungi little friends are back! Fungi's fantastic fiesta! Yay, oh, we fungi heads is back again! Speaking of fun, guys, <laughs> I think I recognize some familiar faces! <gasps> Bongo Head! It's time! We love Bongo Head! Yay! <laughs> Travelers may notice some differences in this update's fungi event. Aside from taking place in Fontaine, the gameplay has also been optimized. Previously, we led the little fungi in battle against Mechanicai. This time, we'll have the opportunity to challenge a whole host of powerful monsters. Ooh. Awesome. Travelers will be able to command a variety of fungi. Yeah, this is basically like um, different Mechanicus. And don't forget to use marvelous gels to instruct the little fungi to unleash powerful skills. Yeah! <laughs> Travelers will hopefully enjoy playing with the fungi more than ever. Here's hoping. We uh, actually I have a little note here to pass along from our developer friends. What's the note? Some unfolding? <laughs> well, they hope to make the little fungi and some other events permanent so travelers can play at any time, the team feels that the current design doesn't adequately sustain long-term gameplay. So, they're going to continue iterating, optimizing, and improving this event. Oh, so eventually we're going to get a permanent version of this event. That is relevant to the overall game. Thanks, devs. Yeah, thank yeah, you. thanks. All right. Okay, let's take a look at what else Farina's itinerary has in store. Oh, it's the Graph Adversarial Technology Experiment Lab. Oh, this is the event to get uh, the I'm special lens for Shark's camera. Some adversaries. Let me at them. <laughs> 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 I wish I could, but it doesn't actually involve fighting. A researcher obsessed with graph adversarial technology has made great contributions to the study of counter criminal image recognition. She believes that her research can help her achieve great success. But her scholarly responsibilities make it difficult for her to collect the field samples that she needs. Mmm, I'm guessing this is where the traveler comes in. <laughs> okay, you're not wrong. <laughs> but Pauline's request is actually pretty reasonable. To receive rewards, simply submit photographs of wild on fish creature. types that match the characteristic that's given on each day. Sounds simple enough. Oh. You can also exchange these samples I've with your I think we've seen friends. this event before. You might be able to find useful references for the samples that you need to collect in the adventure archive. Yeah, 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 the yeah, 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 to use it, just equip the camera and activate the zoom lens in your inventory. The zoom lens can be attached to all cameras obtained in the game up to this point. When equipped with other characters, the zoom lens won't be able to be used in combat, but if you switch to Charlotte and hold your elemental skill, you'll be able to snap pics with zoom lens even while fighting. Whoa. You can even use it in domains. Ooh. Double whoa. Uh, oh my gosh, that's awesome. And I bet travelers will be able to capture some amazing moments. <laughs> Imagine me, like, oh, taking photos of while and Stephen Colfer, like, suffering. the chance to participate in the event, there's no need to worry. Travelers will still be able to obtain the zoom lens after the event ends. Sweet. Oh, you can still get to even if the event ends. Oh, it seems like Farina has also oh, got a Missy Dungeon rerun. Of a domain shrouded in mist. <laughs> <laughs> Travelers who master the leyline features and put together the strongest party will be able to easily beat their opponents. Now, less experienced travelers like myself don't need to worry either. 
Using trial characters and taking advantage of the buffs brought about by the ley line are also great ways to come out on top. That's right! And travelers who are more confident in their combat skills can choose to jump straight to the final challenge! Ooh. Oh, you can actually <laughs> speedrun this if also, you're, like, well leveled. Also, the Leyline Overflow event will return at the end of version 4.2. I'm gonna overflow now event. Now might be the perfect time to start building your parties! Hopefully, you're all excited for the fabulous events that version 4.2 has in store, but there are still some pretty good surprises Disney as well. to share! Yay! Oh, I let's know. get into them! <laughs> Well, before we get into them, let's what? take a quick break to right. have a look at the final break redemption now. code for today. See you in a bit! I think next is going to be like okay. the QFL <laughs> updates that they mentioned on Hoyo Lab. And the code is 9T96. Okay, that's all my the order codes redeemed. I'm gonna paste in the order the all three codes. Yep, so there's all three uh redemption codes. And uh, the Genshin Tavern Discord just pinged the codes as well. Welcome back, travelers! Okay, I just took a look at Lady Farina's itinerary, and it seems we've actually reached the end. Aww. Aww. I know. So we've submitted our appointment request to Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. While we're waiting to hear back, let's see what system optimizations we have for the upcoming version. Let's get into it. Okay, so All first right. up is the quick challenge feature for weekly bosses. The quick, yeah, New quick players start. or players who prefer to spend their time exploring may have yet to unlock certain weekly so bosses. So you may not unlock the thing, yeah, you can actually uh, quick challenge the, the thing, the world boss bosses. To ascend a certain character. Totally. True. In version 4.2, travelers who are at adventure only, you can't do it above in co -op. Have the option to quick challenge a weekly boss by navigating to the Trounce Domain section of the Adventure Handbook. All weekly bosses will be available to challenge, except Storm Terror and the Wolf of the North. <laughs> nice. Um, oh, yeah, there's no, only, there's only the most that bosses you can't then quick challenge. So I think that's only because um, the exactly. you know, Wolf is a world boss and Storm Terror is a single player. TCG. Ooh. In version 4.2, three new character do, uh, cards and five new action cards will be added. There will also be like an accelerate times dual feature, speed. which will provide a smoother gaming experience. Pretty cool stuff. After the version 4.2 update, I've not played deck TCG in a long time. Also be available. Use them to show off your strongest deck or Sorry. take inspiration from other travelers. That's oh, cool. That's awesome. And, you know, since the number of card combinations just keeps increasing, the number of mm -hmm. decks a player can save has been increased from 10 to 20. Doubled. Doubled. <laughs> Double. And in addition, both the maximum number of starting slots and the number of slots unlocked at each player level upgrade have been increased from two to four. Doubled again. Double, nice. double. Double again. The, devel <laughs> the developers have also made a number of optimizations to the Genius Invocation TCG interface. Heated Battle Mode and the Forge Realm's Temper Endless Swarm will also return in version 4.2. Ooh. And in addition to the updates made to Genius Invocation TCG, returning travelers will enjoy ample login rewards and exploration guidance courtesy of the Genshin Impact Project team. May those returning to Devat have a happy reunion. Aw, that's Aww. nice. Yeah. This is definitely for Plus, those who are being coming back just for Farina. Also been added so that returning travelers can enjoy new story quests and hangout events. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> Red notification dots have also been optimized. Notifications that have already been cleared will no longer reappear when logging in on a different platform. Yo. Oh yeah, this happens to me quite a lot because I play on both uh, PC and mobile. To unlocking story quests. Travelers oh, this is actually so useful. To I don't have to like start the quest right away after I unlock it. Whoa, nice. <laughs> Which means I don't have to accidentally even start being the quest anymore. <laughs> or get quests locked. <laughs> the update has also made notifications about prerequisite quests even clearer, making it easier for players to proceed to certain content. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, great. 
Oh, and it seems like that's all we have for the latest version update. I guess that means it's time for the 4.2 special program to come to a close. That's a pretty decent uh, update so far. <laughs> well, there is so much exciting stuff happening, and um, I know personally, aside from all the intrigue around the story and characters, I am personally very jazzed for the Fun Guy event! <laughs> yes, how can you not be? They are, keep on adding so much cool stuff to this game. For me, I love the idea of the combat camera, um, but... Uh, oh, I just realized I forgot to... Uh... Monsieur Novelet, uh, we are here for the Melusines. <laughs> Um, oh, my dumb self forgot to so thing, change the you. category. I'm really grateful we could all be here today together. And um, honestly, I'm just really glad that we're going to get to see how... Uh, it's, already, it's already too late anyway. Old. Mm -hmm. And maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll have a nice ending in 4.2. We'll have to see. Um, but that's <laughs> it for the version 4.2 special program. Thank you so much, everybody. And see you all in game. Bye. Bye. Doodaloo. November the 8th. I think this is the launch date for... Yeah, it's the launch date for the thing. For 4.2. So what, are, what special event they're going to have? 